Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming and The Last Remnant Remastered. In today's video we are going to be hunting a couple of rares and I'm an idiot, we want to be an illusion. And we need items from them and both of them can be found here in the catacombs. We are first looking for Sledgehammer and we want the Kuka Lane core because that's needed in the creation of the Ram Skull which is a guild task. And we also need Neftis. We want the second Manticore head. So like I say, both of them are rare. We, they probably won't appear first time and we probably won't get the drop we need at the first attempt either unless we're extremely lucky so what I've done is I have just saved I shall go through into the catacomb I will show you where both should be should they spawn if they're not there I will just save scum it and I know some people don't like that but if you want to see me spend potentially hours running in and out of this area then fine, but I don't think anybody wants that. So, let's see how lucky or unlucky we are. Sledgehammer. Oh. And I can already tell that Neftis hasn't spawned as well. But I will just show you where it will be. Just where that Grand Beetle is, that is where, just round the corner, that is where Neftis will spawn. So I will see you when either Sledgehammer or Neftis has spawned. So as you can see, Sledgehammer has finally spawned. I think it took about four or five zoning in and out for it to spawn. And this is my third attempt to get the Kuka Lane core so we can create the Ram Skull. So will I have better luck this time? Let's wait and see. We shall stop them here. <laughs>
I'd like this. All right now? You wanna play?
Coming at ya! Feel stronger than before. And there's a cuckoo bean cart which we needed. Whew, it took some getting, what waiting for it to spawn, etc. But we've got it. That's the main thing. So we will just Head out of here now. Nothing to see, but get off. Yeah, that's the only thing with uh, Neftis and Sledgehammer. Not only are they rares, but you need items from them as well. And that's going to follow me now all the way out to the exit. And so it does, you do have to save Scum. You have to save just before you attack it and then see if you get the, the splits. And I mean, that sledgehammer has made this into quite a long video i had planned on doing other stuff but i think well i don't know let's see so let me do my thing which i have to do there's a cuculean car whatever you call now manticore head you see i've got two of them because like an idiot what i did I forgot to press record when Neftis appeared, like an idiot. Uh, but so that's the only thing you have missed. Uh, but there you go. We've got the Manticore head, which we needed, and we've got the Ku Ku Laying Core for the Ram Skull. And this video is already running to nearly 41 minutes. So I think what we will do. I think we'll call it here. So we got, it's been a productive episode. We got both the rares we were looking for, although it took a fair bit of time on my part, not for you, but for me, it took me at least a couple of hours to get them to spawn and then to get the components. 
And that is, I will say it right now, again, this can happen when you play this game. It's so RNG based, you can zone in and out 50 times sometimes before you get the rare to spawn and also get the drops you needed or the splits you're needing. That's part and parcel of the game, you have to accept it. So we finally got Sledgehammer and Neftis to spawn and we finally got both items we were looking for. The Kukulain Core for the Ram Skull and the Manticore Head, which I can't remember what we need that for off the top of my head. I do have it. Um, I do have a note of it somewhere. Anyway, yeah. if you've enjoyed this video and if you found it useful or informative, please consider hitting that like button. Uh, leave a comment, good, bad or indifferent, I don't care, I appreciate them all. If you've got a question, like why are you playing this game, again, <laughs> or anything like that, bang that in the comment section. And if it's a good, and seriously, if I can answer any question, I will do. Uh, so hopefully, I will see you in the next, oh, don't forget to, co uh, to consider subscribing, so that you don't miss any future episodes of me rambling on and giving away pieces of information. So thank you for dropping by. Thank you for watching. It really is appreciated. And hopefully, hopefully, I will see you in the next one.